Hi friends, it's Nadi here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting once again. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm sharing my recipe on how to make vermicelli cake. And this is a very popular dessert in the Caribbean. This is also very popular during religious functions. And guys, it's so simple to make. You can enjoy this anytime. So today I'm going to walk you through the recipe. It's very simple, very easy, and yet it's so delicious. And so friends, let's get started with the recipe. So these are all the ingredients that we are going to use today. I have here a 10 ounce package of the vermicelli noodles. And basically this is a very fine noodles. And this is um, the unparched one. If you go to the store and you see different packages, some will be brown and some will have this whiter color. I have here two carnation milk, a half a cup of condensed milk. And you know, the condensed milk we're gonna use to sweeten it, so we're not adding sugar. So this will vary. Like if you need a sweeter, you're gonna add more condensed milk. I have a cup of whole milk and I'm gonna start out by using one cup of water. In here, I have some raisins and some chopped cherries. And, you know, these are optional, especially raisins, because I know a lot of people don't like raisins. I, for one, don't like it, but my husband loves it, so I'm just going to go with his preference today. I have one stick of cinnamon. I have six cloves. I have nutmeg that I will be grating. Three cardamom pods and four tablespoons of butter. So guys, the very first thing I'm going to do here is to pour this in a bowl. And using my hands, I'm just going to break these up into smaller pieces. So in this way, it's going to be easier for when you're parching it and turning it. It's going to be a lot easier. Here I have my pot on the stove on medium heat. And I'm going to add the whole milk first. And then I'm going to add the carnation. Make sure you're shaking the carnation milk first before pouring it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my cardamom pod. I'm gonna add the cloves. And also I'm going to add the cinnamon stick. I'm gonna grate the nutmeg in and I'm gonna grate like, let's say like about half of a teaspoon. And now we're gonna give it a little stir. So that everything gets combined. I'm now going to add the condensed milk and this is half a cup and I'm going to also add another quarter of a cup. So total amount I'll be using is three quarter cup of condensed milk. I will be listing all the measurements in the description box below. Guys, I'm also adding one tablespoon of vanilla essence, which I forgot to put earlier. So it will be in the description box also. So you want to keep on stirring until this comes to a boil. And this has been boiling for like about two minutes now. So at this point, I'm just going to take my stove off. So it's smelling good and it's looking good. So guys, I have set that aside and our next step, we're going to start parching our vermicelli. So I'm going to add four tablespoons of butter in my heated pan. And you want to parch your vermicelli on medium low heat because you don't want it to burn. So I'm going to add the vermicelli here. And I'm going to keep on turning this. You know, you want to be parching this until it becomes a nice brown color. So guys, as you can see, it's starting to come together here and it's starting to get a little brown. So we have to keep on parching until we achieve that nice brown color. 
So this is looking really good now. And at this point, you see it's nice and brown. So I'm going to go ahead and add the water. So I'm adding one and a half cup of water. So my stove is still on medium low and I'm going to let this soften up a little bit with the water and then I'm going to add the milk mixture to it. So guys, it has been like about six minutes and my bonazelli has softened up a bit. It's like halfway cooked and all the water has evaporated. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the milk mixture. I'm going to use a strainer and I'm going to strain the mixture. So after adding all this, I'm going to keep on stirring my vermicelli because at this point you do not want it to catch at the bottom. That's why it's very important to use like a heavy bottom pot for this. I'm also going to add the cinnamon stick back in so that it can infuse more flavor into the vermicelli. And so guys, yes, we are going to keep on stirring on medium heat. And we're going to do this until it thickens up nicely. So guys, it's almost done. So I'm going to go ahead and add the raisin. So, um, you know, it's still liquidy. So we want to get this down to a more thicker consistency. Everything is coming along nicely, so I'm going to remove the cinnamon sticks. And I'm going to add the cherries. And I'm going to give everything a nice mix. And I'm going to give this like about a minute more, just to get that right consistency. So guys, it's very important to get the right consistency, or else your vermicelli cake is going to be too mushy. So you don't want it to be mushy. So this is looking absolutely perfect for me now. This is the consistency that we want. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to transfer this into a pan. So friends, here I have transferred into a circular pan. You can use a square pan. Um, I did not have like a nice square pan to use. So that's why I'm using this one. So I do apologize. Uh, my camera was off when I was transferring. So at this point, what you want to do, once you transfer it, then you're going to just kind of smooth everything out so you get a nice smooth finish. So guys, it has been cooling for about an hour. It's nice and cool, so we're going to go ahead and cut it. So friends, let's see what it looks like on the inside. So I'm just going to take a piece out. And look how perfect it came out. It's not soggy or anything. And it's just the perfect size. And here's another square. So friends, I think this came out beautifully. Everything came out so nice. And let's give it a taste. The moment we've been waiting for. Mm, it's really guys, this is so yummy. So friends, if you like this recipe, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you in my other video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Bye bye.